Hey guys, it's Jackie here. What's up? I hope your day is going great. I haven't seen you guys in about a week. Uh, we have been feeling a little under the weather for the past week or so, but it is time to jump right back in to all of the many things that need to be done. So as you can see, the kitchen is an absolute nightmare along with the rest of the house when both people in the house are sick and want to just, you know, curl up in a ball and lay in bed things don't get done. So I am bringing you along the ride with me to cleaning this house and getting it back to a good uh, level of normal. We are going to start in the kitchen because if your kitchen is clean, you just have you know, a little bit more sanity in your life. You're able to cook dinner and just function a little bit more normally. Plus, a bonus in this video is I'm going to share with you the banana bread recipe that my mom has been using my entire life. And I'm a little biased, but I think it is the best banana bread recipe out there. So I will drop that in the description below. I don't even know where it came from. It's just the one that my family has always used. So stay tuned for that if you want to try it out for yourself. This is the mess that we're working with in the kitchen. Our dishwasher has never worked as long as we've lived here. So all of these have to be done by hand, so that's going to take us a while. But once this is clean, it will just be a huge relief. But first, we need to give my dogs their advent calendar treat for the day. This is a really adorable cloth advent calendar especially for dogs. My mom bought it for me from a little boutique at a local mall a few years ago. and So I just keep one bone in here for the day and then I grab another one from up here. Kiwi, Nestle, you want your advent calendar treat? Oh, come on. Sit. Good Nestle. Good Kiwi. Making a mess of it. And Kiwi ran away with it. And now we can get started on cleaning. Alright, so here is the recipe that we're going to be following. Uh, my mom had sent me a picture over text and I just copied it down based off of that. So here's what it says. I will also be typing this up in the description. So I'm going to be using a loaf pan since I only have one of these and then I'll, I would have leftover um, batter because um, it kind of takes two of them. I also have this pan here which is a silicone snowflake pan that I got from Target I believe last winter um, but you can put them in muffin tins or whatever you want um, but the recipe calls for loaf pans like this. We've got all-purpose flour, a canola oil spray just to spray the pans down with, got some salt, baking soda. I always pull out baking powder first check the recipe, and then go put it back and get baking soda. So make sure you're using the right one. We've got pure vanilla extract, some milk, three ripe bananas, or overly ripe bananas, a stick of butter, two eggs, 
sugar, we got our two bowls here, and our measuring stuff. All right, let's preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Now I'm taking one and a fourth cups of granulated sugar and one stick of softened butter or margarine and I'm going to cream them together until they are fully mixed. Next, I'm adding in my two eggs and my three bananas. And then I'm just taking my spoon and chunking everything up a little bit before I add the half cup milk and the teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're going to mix it all up. Now set that bowl off to the side and grab another bowl because this is what we're going to be doing our dry ingredients in. I'm putting in two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of salt. You're then going to mix that all together and then add the dry to the wet ingredients. And this is totally optional, but I like to add chocolate chips to mine. You can leave it plain or even add nuts or whatever you'd like to it. And now we're gonna pop it in the oven and let it bake until the toothpick comes out clean, which if it's a loaf of bread is about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and for the snowflakes, I'm gonna be checking them probably starting at like 30, 35 minutes and going in like five minute increments from there. I will show you how they turn out when they come out of the oven, but thank you guys so much for watching this and hanging out with me as I clean my kitchen and make banana bread. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and we will see you in the next video. Bye.